Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching John Wick. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you. Hello, you. Thank you to all of my little golden nuggets who stick around, who watch these movies and shows with me on a regular basis, and most importantly, who subscribe so that they can be a part of the little golden nugget community. I really appreciate all of y'all. You guys definitely make up the backbone of this community and this channel, and you guys are so much fun to interact with in the comments down below, so thank you. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are you? If you like what you see here and you enjoy these kinds of videos, maybe consider clicking that little red button below and never know which side it's on. To subscribe, we definitely have a lot of fun over here. Today, we are finally checking off an action movie. I feel like it's been a long time since we've watched just a straight action film. We have watched some slower pace movies that have action in them, things like Drive. I would consider Drive like a drama first with action elements second, but maybe it's considered more typical action just because of the pacing. We've watched a lot of superhero movies with action, some sci-fi stuff with action, but I feel like it's been a while since we've watched just a straight, pure action movie. And today we're checking one off that's been on my list for a while, and that is John Wick. And I'm excited to check it out because I know nothing about it, except I do know one little spoiler from the Deadpool 2 movie, I believe. Uh, that there's a certain creature that dies. You know, if you're watching this movie with me here on YouTube, just expect there to be spoilers. I already know the dog dies. So uh, I'm probably still going to get wrecked whenever the dog does die. I don't know if, it, if it's like a dog that dies early on in the movie or later in the movie. Either way, I've got like a whole box of tissues here. So I am ready to go because even though I know it's coming, I'm still going to cry. Um it's a dog, like there's just no way around crying, I'm pretty sure, like unless it happens really fast and we move on really quickly. But if there, if we dwell on it at all, it, it's I'm gonna be a wreck because you know, I care more about animals than I do about people, quite honestly. That's one thing I've noticed a lot in some of the videos where I react very viscerally to pets dying or animals dying. And, um, and people are like, dude, this happened to like people and you didn't react this much. I'm like, yeah, I like, animals. <laughs> I like animals more than I like people. Is that surprising? Like, is that not okay? I mean, maybe it's problematic, but people are just more complex. And um, animals are innocent, adorable creatures that need our love and care. And they did nothing wrong to you. Dogs are God's gift to the world. And people, people are not. So <laughs> that's why I cry so much at animals getting hurt in movies or anything happening to even fictional animals, quite honestly. So that's all I know about this movie. I do know also that Keanu Reeves is the lead, which I'm excited about because I don't think we've seen him in a movie since The Matrix here on my channel. I, I don't think I've seen him in anything in a while. So it should be a fun time today. But with all that being said, guys, I have rambled on long enough. Um, this intro was pretty rambly just talking about the few things I know about the movie, rambling about my passion for dogs. So with all that being said, I think we should just hop onto this movie and see what it has in store. I'm excited to finally check this one out with y'all. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Okay, that's an intense way to open the movie. I like that. Oh, oh, you don't look so good, John. There's not a lot of blood there. What are you doing, John? Oh, is this the woman he loves? He took a selfie video of them making out. Ew, that's kind of weird, John. We're gonna have to go back in time. Interesting. This looks like now we're not in New York anymore, especially with a house like this. EKG. Hospital EKG peeping. Did she die? Oh, the empty Jack and Jill sink and the color tones are really cold and gray. I'm wondering if she died. <gasps> what? Was it like sudden? Did she just collapse? What happened? Did she like have a stroke or an aneurysm or something? Or a heart attack? What the heck? That is so sad. Is this LA or New York? I don't, maybe it's New York. Willem! Maybe it is New York. Could have just been a rainy day. What are you really doing here, Marcus? Oh, they know each other. Okay. 
maybe that is New York and we're in Queens. I don't know. That, I think that's the New York City skyline. I'm pretty sure. I think I see the Empire State Building. I guess they did. Wow, he's rich with a house like that in New York. Holy. And the pen. <laughs> she's like me. I do. Is he moving? Oh, what? Oh, she's delivering a cat or a pet. <gasps> the dog. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't get it. To oh, it's a puppy. Oh, no. Oh, dang it. I'm already. Oh, no. Oh, no. The dog. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to get attached. John, I'm sorry I can't be there for you. But you still need something, someone to love. What? Helen? What? Oh, it was a long time coming. She scheduled a puppy delivery to arrive perfectly after, like, a, just with enough time after her funeral. <laughs> That's so sad. And now that I know the dog is going to die and I just feel for this man. I just feel for this man. Oh God, this is the first time we've really seen him break down. He didn't really break down when she died even. The dog's like, can you let me out? <laughs> Are you going to let me out yet? Oh God. I should have brought like makeup over here. I'm going to be crying it all off. It's a little beagle too. Beagles are so cute and stupid. <laughs> Daisy has got the same thing as her bracelet. So she liked daisies. Oh, it's really cute! Dang it! Come on. No, let him sleep on the bed with you! Let him sleep on the bed with you! He's going to eventually. What, you're gonna make him sleep on a towel on the floor? That's not gonna go well, buddy. He's gonna get right back into that bed. Oh, he's so cute! Oh, sh There he is! There he is! A puppy is, like, even better than getting, I think, like, a full grown dog because like a puppy's not even gonna allow him to like wallow in self pity or grief. It's gonna like force him to get up and engage with it. They have a lot of energy, you know? Although he's still getting up at 6 a.m., which is crazy. Oh, it's so cute. F I don't want it to die. What? What do you mean what? Oh yeah, what are you gonna feed the dog? Are you gonna feed the dog cereal? She really should have scheduled the shipment of food too. <laughs> The dog's like, I'm coming too! Yeah! Oh, yeah, it's so cute! Although that's a really nice car to not lay a towel down for your dog to sit on those leather seats. I mean, that car is really nice. New Jersey, oh, that explains it. <laughs> I was just gonna say that explains why he can afford the house. It's still, he's still rich. It's a really nice house, but Jersey's definitely more affordable. Oh, hey, Theon. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nice ride. Uh-oh. Well, uh, well, yeah, what about it, bro? These guys make me nervous. How much? Excuse me? How much for the car? She's not for sale. What the hell, dude? What he speaks Russian, yeah. Good day, sir. Those guys are totally gonna come back around. They're pretty intimidating and scary. I'm like a little worried right now. Uh, oh, whoa, the color tone just shifted so dramatically. Is he going on a flight? Or is he just driving on the air on the airstrip? What the hell does this guy do for a living? Is the dog buckled up, bro? There is no way that the dog would be okay in the car like that. Okay, wow, he's got anger. So he just drives like that at an airport. They let him in to drive like that when he's angry. Yay! Ah, oh, I'm getting attached to this dog, man. This bad. You need to go. <gasps> they seriously broke into his house just because of the car. Really? Really? Because of the car? <gasps> no, leave the dog alone. Oh, are they going to kill the dog as a puppy? I thought the dog would last a little... A little longer. All because of a car, man. All because of a car. You couldn't have let the dog live, really. It's horrible. Speak At least... Quick. Yeah. All right, we gotta show your face so he really knows who you are, really? That's kind of stupid. Daisy! They put Daisy right there next to him. So when he wakes up... <sighs> That's so awful, even though I knew it was coming. That's so awful why why it's like the last piece of his wife left so sad all for a car <laughs> it's like so crazy all for a car where'd you get that car 
Oh. Oh, did he steal it from the wrong guy? Does he know whose car that is? This guy didn't even change his shirt. He washed his face and didn't change his shirt. That is commitment. <gasps> he knew exactly where it came from. He just went right to the source. He knew it. Or did he get the call? Is it here? Did he get the call? Oh, is this guy call him? Oh. It was. It was. Huh. Interesting. Where the hell did you get it? Who gives a Oh, <gasps> we went back. Editing was great there. I like that. Wait, what did you say? What did you say to me? We own you. These guys are so annoying. <laughs> Thank you for punching him. He deserved that. You got a f pair on you, old man. Oh, I can't wait for Vigo's son here to die. I am ready for him to get his ass beat. Oh, is this Vigo? I heard you struck my son. Uh huh. Yes, sir, I did. Yeah, may I ask why? Well, he deserved it, sir. He was asking for it. He stole John Wick's car, sir, and uh, killed his dog. Yeah. What do you think about that, Vigo? Oh. Yeah. Oh, he realizes the gravity of the situation, huh? He, <laughs> he, I like how immediately he's like, oh yeah, yeah, he deserved that. Uh, f my son is an idiot. <laughs> I love how immediately he's just like, oh, okay, Aurelio, sorry for calling, sorry for bothering you. <laughs> Sir, have you seen my son? Oh, yeah, he's worried about his son. I would be too. You worry that your son's going to die. I guess John Wick is known as like, maybe he got all of his money from like being an assassin or being, I don't know, just clearly doing some really badass action type stuff. Oh, he just hit him so hard that he made him instantly vomit. Man, Theo, <laughs> I just keep calling him Theo. I don't know this actor's name. Oh no, it's a, uh, isn't it Lily Allen's brother? Something Allen, right? He really does a good job playing characters like this who are kind of like full of themselves and stupid and then get their ass beat over and over. <laughs> he once was an associate of ours. Oh, he used to work for them. We called him Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga! I know what the Baba Yaga is. Boogeyman? The Russian boogeyman. He was the one you sent to kill the f boogeyman. Wow. Oh yeah, he was an assassin. Is he pulling out his assassin gear right now? Is he digging it out? He's coming out of retirement just for you. Isn't that special? I gave him an impossible task. Really? A job no one could have pulled off. And he did? What was it? The bodies he buried that day laid the foundation of what we are now. And then my son, a few days after his wife died, uh, you steal his car uh, and kill his dog. John will come for you. This is epic. Seeing it from both perspectives of what's happening. This is great. Get the f out of my sight. Really? Does it, so I wonder if he's just, if he's going to try to protect his son. He must. He must be like going to hire some people to try to protect his dumbass son. Task crew. <laughs> How many? How many do you have? All of them, yeah. I was going to say, probably all of them. Oh no, it's a suicide mission. Poor. Oh, these guys, they got a cover for Vigo's idiot son. Are you kidding me? I would be like, I'm not doing this. Like, f off. I'm not protecting this dumbass kid. Oh, they came out to his house. Take the children that don't behave. That's so interesting because he's sending people out to go after John Wick, but the children who didn't behave in this were, was his son. So John will come for him. Baba Yaga. These closed captions in this really intense font is so interesting he is really efficient he's really efficient wow he he killed like four men in the span of uh, five seconds now you got a lot of evidence in your house how is he gonna avoid like having charges pressed against him after all this these are the things i wonder about wow i like the way that was filmed on both sides of the wall <gasps> a knife! John! I get really scared with knives. You'd think I'd be just as scared with a gun, but the knife thing is freaky. Oh, I bet you're regretting that you brought out the knife, bro, because now it's being used on you! I would regret it. I'd be regretting it at this moment. All of his body weight! Ah! Okay! <laughs> okay. Oh, who's at the door at this hour? Oh my God, a police officer? No f way. I was wondering what would happen if it, a cop showed up or- Evening, John. He knows him. Noise complaint. 
Oh, a noise complaint. Oh, he's not even hiding the dead bodies. Is he working with the cops? Do they know? You uh, working again? Oh. No, I'm just sorting some stuff. <gasps> I'll leave you be then. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's not a problem. Okay. <laughs> Wait, being an actor in that role, just like to have a couple lines and then go is like the best because you just show up on set for one day and you, you make it in the movie. It's fun. It's easy. You get paid. You get to act with Keanu Reeves. That's fun. <sighs> wow, that was funny. Okay, so I guess the cops aren't a threat to him. They just let him do his thing and he doesn't kill innocent civilians, so it's okay. <laughs> oh. Is this a cleanup crew? It's totally a cleanup crew. Waste disposal. And here I would feared you'd left all this behind. Uh, they were like, missed his business. <laughs> this is kind of cool. I kind of like that. It's not like an origin of how he became John Wick. It's just like, he's already a badass and we just get to like pick up with the action. This is fun. Willem! Ah! Would you kill John Wick for two million dollars? Wow. Consider it done. Really? Interesting. So Willem is going to get in on the action? That'll be fun. It's a lot of good money to be made in this assassin business. I mean, this is a lovely home as well. It's really making me rethink. He's got a cupboard under the stairs, like Harry Potter style, but for assassin gear. And he's going to roll it out on the piano. I mean, wow. The aesthetics. If I was an assassin, I would love to have a place like this. <laughs> I actually do want a Harry Potter cupboard eventually one day in my home. That would be cool. I don't know what I'll put in there, but <laughs> not a person, but you know. <laughs> Good seeing you again, John. Oh, she knows him too. What the hell? Perkins. Perkins. So when the old place get a facelift? Oh, he used to stay here all the time. It is a pleasure having you with us again. Everyone seems to like him. This is funny. I like, I really like that. It's like he's got this whole established history. He deals with these gold coins. Instead of like money, it's interesting. Is this the owner's club? Whoa, whoa! I'm just so curious why he deals in gold coins only and oh my God, there's like a seedy underground club. Hello, Winston. Winston, is this the owner? If they're willing to break the rules of Continental, double the bounty. You know the rules. No business can be conducted on these premises lest incurring heavy penalties. Really? Is that why people stay here? That's so funny. It's like a place that's off limits. Interesting. He's got an entire suit bag filled with guns. That's such a cool choice, honestly. This movie is really making being an assassin look really sexy. Is Yosef here partying like a dumb Dude, I would not be sleeping, partying, doing anything. I'd be panicking. Mr. Vig. Ah, he knew exactly who he was. What's it? Kilogram. So why are we emphasizing how much weight he lost? 60. 60 in bold yellow. Why don't you take the night off? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go take the night off, Francis. Thank you, sir. Ah, oh, good. We're letting Francis live. Francis doesn't deserve to be involved with any of this bullshit. I guess that's how you get into the club. You just threaten to kill somebody if they don't let you in. <laughs> I can't believe he found where Yosef is already. There's no way we're going to kill him this fast, huh? That would be crazy, wouldn't it? There he is. I just have to fight off his bodyguards. Status. Level two, that's level two. That's funny. Stop. He said yes! Ah! No, it's not! He's so good at killing them silently. He doesn't let them make a peep. Holy <gasps> sh**. Uh-oh. Now they know. Almost. They almost, he almost got away with it. It would have been a little too easy, huh? I mean, he did come out of retirement. Yeah, Yosef. Yep. Why didn't he kill him like that? Does he want it to be slower and more painful? I'm surprised he didn't take the shot earlier. He had the clear shot of him earlier and he didn't take it. Oh, this is fun. This is cool. The strobe lights and the club music. Oh, guys, you, you got to get out of the way. Yep. Oh, it's going to cause a stampede. That's going to make it a little bit harder to catch him, I think. Actually, people seem barely phased. Oh, he's out. That's annoying. He just looks annoyed. <laughs> he's like, oh, and he still does it so smooth. He's breakdancing now. Holy 
This guy is so smooth. Wow, he is just assassinating everybody like it's nothing. You're done now. He gets shot? He just got shot. He got shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. John. Or does he have a bulletproof vest on? There it does look like there's a little blood on his shirt, but just not enough to where you'd think he'd get shot. This guy's good. Okay. All right. This guy's the first guy to really give him a fight. He just jammed a bottle into his side. Hold on to him, John. Don't let him throw you. Oh, that guy is good. He's covered in blood. My dude. Oh, he's back at the hotel. He's a doctor. Oh, a doctor. How good's your laundry? I'm sorry to say that no one's that good. <laughs> I love how the guy's not phased. Like, this is just all in a day's work. <laughs> this is funny. Take two of these beforehand. Your stitches will tear and you'll bleed. Yeah. But you'll have full function. Oh, great. This doctor is just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, if you got to kill somebody, uh, here's a pill. <laughs> here's a pill for that. Here's a pill for that. This place is cool. <laughs> Willem, right. I forgot about you. So is, is he going to try to kill him at this hotel when it's not really allowed? That's kind of crazy. Maybe sniping doesn't count because he's not on the property. Oh my God, he's got his blinds open. Oh, no. He really could take the shot and kill him right now. He could do it. Perkins. I really hate the sound of breaking bones. I really hate it. Vigo's giving me four to break hotel rules. Break hotel rules. That's great. What happens if he kills her? Does he get in trouble? Because technically she came after him. So isn't it self-defense? She just put it in her mouth. Who's calling at a time like this? Oh, this guy. And Willem's just watching. My God, Willem could have killed him, but instead he chose to shoot next to his head. Unless he missed, but I doubt that that was a miss. It feels like that was a warning, like he had a change of heart, but I don't know. Just throw her out the window or something. Oh, there we go. And he's leaving. Interesting, he's leaving. How do you need the North Sea? A dinner reservation, perhaps? Perhaps. What's a dinner reservation? What does that mean? To talk with the management? Is oh, he didn't kill her. Little Russia. There's a church near Cannon Court. What about it? It's a front. I just feel bad that his stitches are already open. All the work from the doctor. That's so funny. He didn't kill her, so maybe it really does, like, it doesn't matter. Like, they're all such professionals. It's like, if he killed her, he would have gotten in trouble with the management and the owner of the hotel. So he knew he had to, like, catch her and knock her out and, like, just get her to stop. My son, how might I help you? They're all too slow. Oh my God, the poor, the little babushka. The little babushka, she's just sitting there like, I was just praying. I was just here for church. She was just here for the services. <laughs> That's funny, man. Vigo will kill me. Oh, he switched to English. Interesting. So will he. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like that line. Uh-huh. What do you think you're going to do with all of that? This. Is he gonna light it on fire? Holy sh He just lit all of that on fire. Wow. Be like, yeah, I'm gonna kill your son and I'm gonna ruin everything. I'm gonna take away everything you have. Nice. Awesome. You are no lady. Trust me. Is she breaking her hand to get out of that? and didn't react, she didn't react, she didn't react to her dislocating her own thumb. She didn't even flinch. Holy f cra she's crazy. She's actually crazy. Don't kill Harry. Harry! Don't worry, housekeeping will find you. Harry, I liked Harry. Why do we have to drag him into this? He was minding his own business. He was just babysitting. Oh, this guy, this guy's here. The only guy that kind of kicked his ass. I feel like this guy has to last longer because he, he put up such a good fight. I feel like just going out in gunfire is a lame way. Is he going to try to run him over? Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no! And they didn't kill him right then and there? You'd think they'd shoot him in the head right then and there. When That's the only chance that you have when he's down. But no, they're going to, like, kidnap him and tie him up. Why not just shoot him in the head? Because of the movie, obviously. we got to keep him alive, but... In reality, he'd be like, quick, he's down! He's never down! It was just a f car, just a f 
dog. Just a dog. Oh, him and I think of the same thing. I wish we'd had even more time with a dog just to really finalize the bonds, you know, because we only, only had a few days with it. Or you can die screaming alongside him! How are you going to get out of this, John? Marcus. Marcus! Honestly, I keep forgetting about Marcus, and then he keeps coming back around. It's amazing. This guy does have to go out slowly because he's pretty tough. Oh, all right. Okay, Marcus. I wonder if he just told John from the get-go, like, hey, they hired me to kill you. Instead, I'm gonna go sit on some roofs and follow you and just be your backup sniper. Like, they must be working, he must know that Marcus is out there helping him. Because they didn't seem phased by the sniper bullet. Cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it. No, oh, now he's really scared. Now he's scared. I have your word then, if I tell you where he is, you let me walk away. Oh, oh, we're- Pull the contract. What a coward. Oh, the contract out on him, yeah. He's kept in a safe house, Brooklyn, 434, Wallace Place. You'd really sell out your son like that. You're a great dad. He's gonna let Vigo live, wow. He's gonna let Vigo live, he really, he means his word. Now he will, now, now he will. Yeah, it's all over now, dude. Man, he broke into that so easy. That was like the easiest thing ever. He was gonna say just a dog. He was gonna, it's interesting. He was gonna say that too. The same thing his dad said. But meanwhile, neither of them apologized. They didn't give the car back unless I missed that. Our pleasure, sir. A parting gift. I'm wondering though how we're, from management, the car. Oh, wait, we're still waiting for Perkins. Because we got to end up somehow where we were at the beginning of this movie when he's like got wounds and he's like collapsing, watching the video of Helen. Uh, but this wasn't the car that he was in at the beginning of the movie. So I don't know. Something, something's got to happen. This is a different nice car, huh? This isn't, yeah, this isn't the one he initially had. But it's nice. It's really nice compensation. Management is very thoughtful. I'm just worried about where Perkins is. I'm not going to lie. How many times do I have to save your ass? Marcus! She's watching, yeah. Uh-oh, is he gonna get in trouble? Oh no, this is his house, I see. They were here waiting for him. Are they gonna kill him? Are they gonna kill Marcus? I don't want them to kill him. Oh, she's here, great. I always liked you, Marcus. God damn it. The last of the whole guard. You're gonna cut the femoral artery? You're not gonna- <laughs> You won't give him a swift death? That's awful, man. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Holy shit. So he didn't maybe put the knife all the way in because he didn't want to kill him. But then Marcus was like, F it, kill me, bro. I'm done. It's so sad. We're done. No, you're not. John Wick's going to come for you next. I apologize for calling you out to this hour. Is this the guy from the hotel? Why is he calling her? Miss Perkins, your membership to the Continental has been by thine own hand. Revoked. Are they gonna kill her? Do they kill you if you break the rules? That's the cleanup crew! The cleanup crew! Oh my god, they all work together. What a small world. That was pretty badass. She had to have known she was gonna be killed. That's crazy. Which is why I'm not the one telling you it was a certain helicopter that a certain helipad is being fueled for a certain someone. Uh, thank you for not telling me that, sir. <laughs> Damn, so much has happened in this movie. Like, so many people have died. Holy f I really thought, like, some of these people would be left alive. But no, so far, I mean, now it's just got Vigo and Mr. Mayhem left. And John may even die, I don't know. God damn, I knew he'd come. Why are you laughing, Vigo? Why are you smiling? Does he just know it's gonna happen? And he's like, whatever. Somebody give me a gun, who's got a gun? He's laughing. He knows it's hopeless. Is he like, it's all over? That was a good one. That was a good one? Is he high? What the f*** is happening? He, maybe he just has made his peace with dying. No. He could have hit you head on, but instead he does it like that. Is that Vigo in the car? Yep. Oh my god. Uh oh. Wow. Good timing. Oh damn. Well, that was a gift for management. Now, now he doesn't have it anymore. Oh, where's Vigo? There's no way he made it on the helicopter. 
Oh no, he's over there. He's about to board it. But the thunder! The lightning! No more guns, dog. No more guns. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? No more bullets. Oh, he agrees. Interesting. They're just gonna fist fight to the death now. I like how, I feel like it wasn't even raining five minutes ago. <laughs> I feel like this thunderstorm just started. We were professionals, civilized. Your son ruined all of it. I mean, granted, you could say John's taken it a little far by killing like so many people for the dog, but I don't know. I think if his son had just apologized, it would have gone a long way. So no more bullets, but knives are okay. Uh, he's definitely gonna get a wound in because we've seen John bleeding at the end of this film. He did that on purpose. What in almighty God's name? What, 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 what? He did it on purpose. Ah! Whoa, just sitting there staring at each other in the rain, bleeding out. This is pretty crazy. Oh, oh God, the knife. I didn't even see it there. <laughs> Helen. Let's go home. Let's go home. It's time to go home. Is he gonna be able to get up? Are you gonna be okay, John? What is this building that he's breaking into? Is that a kennel? Is that a kennel? Oh my God, it's full circle. There's more dogs. He's gonna use drugs and meds meant for dogs on him. I guess it's all the same thing. It's just gauze and, oh! John, is there no one we could call who might know what they're doing? Is he just gonna take one of them? Oh, did the sign say to be put down? Is this a kill shelter or something? Let's go. It's gonna take one, okay. How did he just randomly stumble upon a place like this? Staple himself up and oh goody, it's actually like, you know, it's not, you know, a regular kennel. It's like a kill shelter so I can rescue one of these dogs. That's so funny. <laughs> what an ending. After that movie, I just, I'm gonna go cuddle with my dogs after this. Coat is on the ground. I can only fit one on my lap at a time, but this is Ridley. I think I've introduced you guys to Ridley. He's very sweet. That was a really fun movie. I really enjoyed the music, the action. It was just so smooth. John Wick is a character. The fact that he's just like this formidable guy. And I like the fact that it wasn't an origin story, that it was like, he's already this badass and he's coming out of retirement because some guy pissed him off and killed his dog. That made everything so much more suspenseful and thrilling because, you know, people are just insinuating that he's crazy and really good at assassinations and you don't want to mess with this guy. So that made it, the stakes high and fun to kind of see everything play out and see how formidable he actually is, which is very. I did briefly look up, was this based off of a book or a comic book, but it wasn't. So um, that's interesting because it definitely seemed like the source material for this has a lot behind it. Uh, it felt like watching a James Bond movie play out with all the different characters and um, everybody seemed so familiar to one another, character-wise. I also really loved the whole world. I mean, I don't want to live in it, but, you know, I don't love it in that way. But I liked this whole hotel where the rules are different and you're not allowed to, you know, kill anyone at this hotel or you get killed. And it's kind of an unspoken rule. Like, they mention that it's a rule, but they don't say what the consequences are and you just see what the consequences are at the end. It was very fun. And I really liked a lot of the characters that we met, even though unfortunately most of them are dead now. But not man the management guy, the owner. I liked him, he's still alive, so that's cool. But you know, Harry, Marcus, the dog. So it'll be interesting to see who's in the next movie. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving uneven treatment right now. Coda's just like sitting down there like, why aren't you picking me up? But if I picked him up, he'd be squirming to get off of my lap and Ridley's significantly smaller. So this was a good suggestion. I think I probably would have been a little more shocked and cried harder had I not known the dog was going to die, but it was still pretty just sad and devastating. I thought we would have him around a little bit longer than we did. I actually, that's probably the only complaint that I would have had. I hope you guys can hear him sniffing the microphone. That's probably really cute. Anyway, um, that's probably the only complaint that I really had about the movie. I just wish that we'd had a little bit more time to bond with this dog and John and kind of watch him lean on the dog even more through the process of healing and grieving and watch them, you know, become even better friends. Cause 
they even said it was only a few days after his wife died. So it wasn't very long. I kind of wish it had been a little longer. Even if it only added a few minutes to the movie, I just would have appreciated a little more time to kind of like watch them bond, get attached to them even more, really see how much the dog meant to him. Because I feel like that's the only thing is, yes, I could tell he was happy to have the dog in his life, but it wasn't, it didn't seem so important to the point that like he would kill all these people. I feel like it, we could have had a little more time with him and the dog just to really establish that bond and really feel like it was even more gut-wrenching. But maybe that's just because I knew it was coming. Maybe that tainted my view of it. I I just feel like I wanted a little more time. But that's really the only complaint that I have. Um, I think everything else was really well done. Really loved some of the comedic moments between certain characters, like even just the one scene with the cop coming to his door and being like, oh, you working again? <laughs> like not even phased that there's just like dead bodies everywhere. Because that was a question that I genuinely asked. Like how the f is he going to be not arrested when like if anybody came and saw his house right now? But it's like the answer is like, no, everyone's just in on it and it's fine. And there's this whole network of people that are, you know, in this line of work or at least in the know about it. And it's just OK. So um, that was really funny. And I appreciated that. Yeah, it was a good movie, really sexy, really fun, just like a good action movie. And I'm excited to see what you guys think in the comments down below. I had a good time and didn't cry as much as I thought I would with the dog because he died a little sooner than expected. So that's good. I didn't really feel like crying today. But that's all I really have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up because it lets me know that you guys like this kind of content. And you want to see more action stuff, more things like this. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye. Bye. You want to get down now? I guess we can. Okay, let's get down.